The Dades Valley, shaped over millions of years by the forces of nature, creating towering cliffs and winding canyons. Amidst all this dramatic landscape lies a lush green oasis, providing a striking contrast to the rugged terrain. Today we'll explore the valley oasis on foot, following the river as it winds through the fertile fields of grains and poppies. Afterward, we'll take a hair-raising drive up the gorge for an amazing view of the valley from above. We're Chris and Lydia. Welcome to Morocco's Dades Valley. In our previous video, we explored the spectacular Todra Gorge, walking along the cool bubbling river that winds between the steep limestone cliffs. We could have stayed longer, soaking up the beauty and tranquility of this gorge, but the road ahead calls to us. Today our journey continues along the fabled Road of a Thousand Kasbahs. This iconic route stretches westward from the Todra Valley to the stunning Dades Gorges in the High Atlas Mountains, and then onwards to the magnificent Kazar of Eight Ben Hadu. The Road of a Thousand Kasbahs. Just the name alone conjures images of exotic landscapes, ancient fortresses, and tales of caravans winding through the desert. The definition of a kasbah, or fortress, differs between southern and northern Morocco. In cities like Rabat and Chefchaouen, the kasbahs we visited were grand castles and palaces made of stone and brick, serving as royal residences and military defences to protect the town. However, here in the south, kasbahs were designed as fortified homes for wealthy families. Built from mud and clay by Berber tribes, these structures were often found along trade routes, offering both shelter and protection in the harsh desert environment. As we drive, the scenery changes from lush palm groves in the valley to rugged mountain terrain. It's late in the afternoon when we reach the town of Bumalan Dades, the gateway to the Dades Valley, where the landscape transforms yet again. The road ahead twists and turns, winding its way through the valley. Below, the Dades River flows gently, bringing life to the fertile farm plots that line the valley below. Grains, vegetables and flowers thrive here, creating a stunning contrast against the red, arid mountains. As we wind our way deeper into the Dades Valley, we're greeted by one of the region's most iconic natural landmarks, the Monkey Fingers Rock Formations. These smooth undulating sandstone cliffs get their name from their resemblance to the gnarled knuckles of giant hands reaching out from the riverbed below. slow progress as we navigate the winding roads, but as the sun sets, we finally arrive at our accommodation for the night, 
the beautiful Riyadh Paradise Dades. So we've come up two stairs, two flights of stairs, with a high room this time. What's this? This is just a little waiting area, is it? It's got a fireplace. Common area. Oh, and a ch chowing room. Okay. Lydia's got up here first. Have a look. Lovely little copper bowl. That's nice copper bowl. It's nice, these polished walls again. You know, they're beautiful. I love it, and all the rounded edges, and everything's so eclectic and different. Like, look at the arch door. You know, they've got a hatch door and little glass in it. Mm. They've got these beautiful different tiles and granite and copper. They use so many different things, like everything's eclectic. Then you come in here, it's our little toilet. Oh, it's a toilet, okay. And I like this little nook. Look at this little nook in here. Yes. And then this is the shower. It's a shower. It's nice. gorgeous. Spacious shower. This is. Single beds. Which we thought we were in single beds tonight, and I just thought, oh, well, we'll sleep, okay. we're tired. And then he goes, oh, no, no, no. Look. Ah, oh, okay. There's enough room for three people. There is. <laughs> there is. Is oh. yeah. little Arabian plants, and actually, yeah. <clears throat> what's happening? Oh, we've got a view. Oh, have we? Oh, Open the window, oh, let's have a look. windows are. Down to the street below. Nice to have a look at that in the morning. There's the bus. After a much needed night's sleep, we finally got to explore the Riyadh in the daylight. It's a clean and modern Riyadh right on the edge of the oasis with super friendly and helpful staff. The central courtyard opens up to a swimming pool below and you can enjoy dinner and breakfast poolside or out on the balcony overlooking the lush cultivated fields and gardens along the riverbank. The Riyadh actually has five levels, with some of the rooms offering a view down to the pool below. Unfortunately, our stay was short. I would have loved to have taken a dip in that pool, but this morning we had a guide booked to take us on a walk through the beautiful Dades Valley Oasis. We're off on a walk this morning in the Dades Valley, a very scenic walk by all accounts. As we hike through the oasis, it's wonderful to see the valley floor filled with lush fields of grain, vegetables and wildflowers. For centuries, the locals have been cultivating these fields, using the Dades River to irrigate their crops. It's amazing to see this rich greenery surrounded by such arid landscapes. It's not a difficult hike, but it's so rewarding. If you ever make it to the Dades Valley, this hike is an absolute must. It's a chance to slow down and connect with the land and experience the daily life of the people who have called this oasis home for generations. It's really beautiful down here in the valley with the birds singing and 
from the wheat and poppy fields and the streams bubbling by. It's really peaceful. This is the kids soccer field, it's where they play, they play and they, until they get all dusty and dirty and then they jump over here and jump in the river. Sounds like a lot of fun actually, <laughs> especially on a hot day. Oh wow, I wish you could smell that, that is so strong. After our tranquil walk through the valley floor, we commandeered a local bus to see the gorge from a completely different perspective. <laughs> You're sitting on a stool. Do you have a seatbelt on? <laughs> I'm not sure who this guy is, but if he knew what was coming, I bet he'd wish he did have a seatbelt on. The Dudes Gorge Road is legendary for its hairpin turns, 180 degree switchbacks that seem to cling to the canyon walls. It's not for the faint hearted, but the views make it worth every twist and turn. come up a hairpin bend after hairpin bend road up to the top uh, of the, one of the cliffs here for a great view over the valley below. in my hair because it's not so pretty. Yeah, you look beautiful. <laughs> well that was a hairy ride up the mountain wasn't it? <laughs> came up those roads. Yeah. Glad we didn't come up in the big bus. Yes, yeah there's a, a little bus, a little green bus, local bus over there. Yes I doubt a full-sized bus would make it around those turns but we did watch a truck manage it. I think he's done this before. Precariously perched high on the cliff at the top of the climb is a cafe serving coffee with the best view in the valley. Up here, it feels like you're on top of the world. The view is simply breathtaking. You can really appreciate the scale of the Dudes Gorge with its towering cliffs and the winding road snaking its way back down through the valley. Well, it's been lovely here in the land of a thousand caspars and I'm sure we'll see a few more now drive west. Um, but now it's time to hit the road and we're off to Ait Ben Hadu, which is apparently the Hollywood of Morocco.
This afternoon, our drive takes us from the Dades Valley to the town of Wazazat, passing many of the kasbahs that give the route its name. With nearly a thousand kasbahs in the region, both old and modern, the term Road of a Thousand Kasbahs isn't an exaggeration to attract tourists, although I'm sure it doesn't hurt. stopped at a place called Wazizat for lunch and in this place is popular for film shoots um, both Moroccan film companies and also international ones Lawrence of Arabia, The Mummy, uh, Gladiator all have been shot here and parts of Game of Thrones as well it looks like quite a modern place actually maybe a bit more wealthy than some of the other towns that we've stayed at we had lunch here Again, Moroccan tagine for Lydia because it's gluten free, and I had some nice beef skewers. And then we'll be back on the road, not too far from our final destination for the day. Next stop, Eight Benhadou. The drive from Wazazat to 8 Ben Hadu takes less than half an hour. As we crossed over a hill, the magnificent fortified village came into view. If you want to explore the inside of this famous kazaar, don't miss next week's video. In our next video, we explore the incredible kazaar of 8 Ben Hadu, a place rich in history and a favourite for movie sets. We also spend the night in an ancient kasbah, one of the most unforgettable places we've ever stayed. We really hope that you'll join us for that. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying our videos. It really helps support us and it makes a big difference. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll come roving with the bellies again next time. Bye for now.